it's Perry, and welcome back to another episode of Collider Behind the Scenes. We have another super cool show for you today. We're doing an office tour, and today's office tour is going to be of the Schmo's office. It's an interesting place. I'm warning you now. Let's go in. Oh, hey. Look who's hard at work over here. This is an interesting setup. Well, yeah, this is not my normal chair because we have a lot of people in the office, so I have a bar stool, which is actually more comfortable. I'm used to sitting on bar stools in my life, and we're doing a little bit of uh, schmoes work right now. I'm a little distracted right now. Sorry. I don't know what is going on over there. I had no idea. I've had this thing for years. I have had this thing for years, and I had no idea that it actually spoke. Did you know that? I feel this will be. See? He didn't know it. Look, and now they... Hard at work here. Head of development. What is this here? What? This this yeah, contraption. This is the treadmill that I should be using that my wife tells me that I should be using, and I it's the first time I'm standing on it today, using it as Endor, but not actually using it as a... It's moving really slowly. It, it's, it is. It's a, this is the fastest I've walked in years. I think this is the office with, with the weirdest desk arrangements. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why you need to comment for me on that because I totally agree. But uh, The Rock likes his hat over there. You see Rock's hat? No, no one cares. Why? I'll tell you one thing that's very interesting. Uh -oh. You think that nothing fun happens in this office? Well, yeah. Well, Tony Montana is my roommate. That idiot has a horse. Oh, it's our meeting. Cobster. All right, so there's a little bit of history here. This is for hardcore Schmoes fans. That that poster on the wall there, that Rocky poster, that is from 2008. That is the poster that we used to have in our reviews. So everyone used to know, oh, the Rocky poster, it must be a Schmoes video. And then it just, you know, like anything else, we evolved, but poster was able to stay on the wall and make it over to Collider Studios. That is a substantial poster. Where do you even buy a frame for that? I got that as a gift when I worked at Silver Pictures. My um, my buddy David Gambino and Eric Olson bought that for me for my birthday one year. Because Why is there no Star Wars poster anywhere? I mean, there's you have a Millennium Falcon there. There isn't a single Star Wars poster in this office, and that disturbs me. Well, we have a lot of Star Wars memorabilia everywhere. Not good enough. Not good enough? All right. Well, there's one outside, and we have a full Jedi Council set, Perry Demeroff. Um, there's a lot of different posters that we have. There's an Empire Strikes Back right outside. Christian, sit down and pretend to work now. <laughs> Wrong way. <laughs> I love how I'm just touching everything on your desk. Is it? That looks like the Moana symbol now. It does. That's what I thought of when I, when I saw it, but then I realized it wasn't, so I didn't. Hey, can what? you tell me about that? I got into the BFCA. Don't show that, because now we don't know what's on there, what kind of information's on there. So. Christian, Christian, Christian. Yeah. I just did a lot of blow, and they said we can go join him at Wood Ranch. Let's go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you smell like baby powder. This is where we do videos. You got some videos here. You got Beetlejuice over there. You got pop figures right there. Back. I approve of the assortment here. I like some, uh, well, Star Wars, of course. You got Beetlejuice and I got a little leather face over there. Personally, I love this setup. There's a lot of memorabilia here uh, throughout the set. There's a lot of fun stuff. So some video games, there's Darth Vader, there's Anakin, but I have some, the, right there, you've got Mr. Captain Kirk himself with no head. That is part of the aftermath of the Roca Mance feud. So you got that over there and posters that you can always see a reflection. It shows you we can't direct worth piss. Um, you go back over here now. Everyone thinks that Mark Ellis is so unorganized. You're like, well, wait a minute. How does an unorganized guy have all these posters on the wall? Well, the fact of the matter is this was Mark Riley's desk. Uh, it was Mark Riley's setup, all these things. And Ellis, the type of guy, he just leaves it. I mean, literally, he could have any single person could be in here from like 1975, and he'd have the same assortment all over the wall. I feel like anyone could tell that this used to be Mark Riley's face really too. Yeah, you start to analyze it. It's true. I mean, you know, that's my coat rack. Those those shirts will, will be on there until the day he dies or gets fired. I'm surprised it's not. There's like no cup collection down here. I do see some some white powdery substance over there, though. I will say that this is the neatest that it's been in quite some time. Um, but you know, it, it's it's an organized it's an organized slop house, if you will. But I shouldn't talk, cause mine looks like Pearl Harbor. Well, would you look at that, Christian? It works. You can walk on your treadmill. You can eat your apples. I'm sure you could put your peanut butter right here too, and you'll be super healthy. Isn't that great? All right, that's all I got. It's blooper time. Let's get to it. Collider Zone, Deputy Editor. 
and an Earth. Wendy, so you hear about these potential trailers that are going to hit on Super Bowl. Does any, oh, there you go. Where's Wendy? She's over there too. <laughs> so I see, this is what I do when I host. I throw everybody out of whack. <laughs> Mahersha, I'm gonna say it right. What? Mahersha La Mah Damn it. Lock. Damn it. Chalamet's draw dropping. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown, and I just like saying Millie Bobby Brown. What other properties or brands would you like to see Lego Taco now that they have a general Lego movie and Batman? Mark. Um, I was reading the comments and did not hear one word of the question. And I'm gonna punch him in the face and I'm gonna do those things! Winona, what are you doing? You're ruining my speech, Winona. Get out of here. Winona? It was, it was, it was okay. It was okay. It was, you the know, very high pitch you have going on. When you, when you, like, yeah. Which property or brand how should the Lego you, franchise tackle? How do you disrespect <laughs> Fing Fong Foo? What was that? <laughs> what was the question? So, one more time for everybody. She's in an elevator, so the first thing I think is that she just had, you know, she's just letting off gas. I'm three years old. <laughs> I'm three, I mean, I really am. You look at a picture, that looks like she's relieving herself. I, I, would, I would look at elevators as like one of the few places in life you really try not to fart. You seem to enjoy oh, farting boy. in elevators. I, I'm not saying I enjoy you it, but she looks elevator. like she's having a blast. Chalamet's draw dropping performance in this movie could certainly land him on the Oscar shortlist. What the fuck? What the fuck? How the <laughs> fuck do you fuck this up? How is. do you screw this panic button? Oh boy. It broke it. You literally. Okay, so it's gone. You broke uh, the like, panic button. I, like, seriously. Is this Millie Bobby Brown? Is that good to put her in there? Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, that's right. I'm Archie and I'm Veronica and we dance. This one's like <laughs> Twin Peaks meets <laughs> Gossip Girl meets Dawson's Creek. It's like Dawson's Peak. And then they're like, we're going to throw in every stereotype humanly possible. The football guy, he's gay. Archie, oh my God, he did sit-ups over the summer. Nobody can get that ripped in the summer. I'm your host, Ashley Mova, and this is The Daily Show. We give you all the latest news from the world of movies. Can we put that picture back up? It's just a really, look at that. Bestiality has never looked so socially acceptable, <laughs> oh. friends. It looks fantastic. Uh, bring that picture oh, back yeah. up. Blood Father's great. Just bring that picture Very back up. Very demanding on the second. graphics. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah sorry, man. <laughs> Let's see if we can see the guys on there. Adam, the Adam, 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 Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Gibson is in Shumpy's back. This man's question was paste pot Pete, which fills me with revulsion. Paste pot Pete. Burn in hell. Uh, I'm so excited here. We're going to talk about Paste Pot Pete, the greatest villain of Stop all time. It! I can't wait. I'm so excited for you today. You know what? Uh, so I thought we were going to say something else. No. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm Mark. I'm not going to help Perry at all today. <laughs> 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 I think that was the meanest thing you've ever said. No. Uh, Griffin and I read this together today. Wait, I thought, oh. wasn't Tiffany invited? I she thought, was. Tiffany, did you, did you oh, you didn't come to the private read? Oh, oh. oh. This is Gary Busey. I'm about to tell you about the Schmoes No Set. And I believe that at one time in my life, I have seen a cantaloupe speak to puppies. They were lucky enough to secure the worldwide rights to the movie. Did I say worldwide? Fuck wanting to just go in and run around and wreck shit. Like, I'm oh, sorry. Nice. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, no, normally I don't like when people curse on the Jedi Council because there's kids watching, but you did it, so yeah. F it. Today we were talking about Mark Ellis, who typically strolls in around noon unless he's on the movie talk. Christian Harloff is usually here about 8.30 because he is a quality human being. They were lucky enough to secure the world raw. They're the ones that secured the worldwide rights. What the fuck? Frip frop and shop shop and flop flop will move around, otherwise known as Cobster. We'll talk about God knows what, talking about dreams he had about JTE. Demonstration, stunt demonstration. It's like, and now I'm getting something in my eyes. Sorry, guys. It's a bang. Go and find it on Twitter, on iTunes, and on, what is it? Snitcher? Snitcher? Stitcher. Stitcher. Stitcher, that's it. I'm, I'm old people. <laughs> They're the ones that secured the worldwide rights. <laughs> One more time. One more time. And for more coverage of Sundance 2017, head out. All right, that's it. Well then, that's all we've got for you this week on Collider Behind the Scenes. You guys know what to do. Hit the comment section below. Share some ideas that you want to see on next week's Behind the Scenes. I read them all, every single one. So drop some comments in there, and I'll see you next week. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.